Hi guys, today I will make a video about the discharge of these GPS batteries and I will probably also do a charge cycle but um, first I, I charged this, these batteries, they were probably about half, half full so I uh, fully charged them, I charged each individual cell to 3.55 volt and now I will do a full discharge at about 0.5 C, so uh, half the capacity. These are 100 amp hour uh, batteries and I will discharge them with probably around um, 50 amps. I will try to do this. I will use an inverter and uh, a constant load of about uh, 1000 watt. So um, I will see uh, exactly how much current this will translate to because I don't know exactly the efficiency of this uh, power inverter. It's just uh, this is first time that I will use this inverter and this will be my main power inverter. So um, these are the batteries. As you can see I, I like this, this battery especially for the uh, type of connector they use here. They, they are square and use four screws for each terminal and I think these are a better solution than, than the, the other manufacturers that use uh, round connectors on, uh, on these large cells and I don't like them very much. These, these look really nice and I think they are, they are better than uh, the round connectors. You cannot damage the, the cell by screwing uh, the nut too tight or something like that and they also have they come with um, with these uh, plastic covers for each cell so uh, you I don't know this will fit here because they have they have um, tabs that can be removed uh, depending uh, where you want to, to make the connections and so this will work here and this is nice because when you have all these covers on top of the batteries you cannot short the terminals if you I don't know something metallic falls on, on the batteries or something like that the, it's not really necessary but it, it's a nice touch I mean uh, this doesn't cost the manufacturer more than a few cents but they were thinking about this and uh, used this. It's, I don't know any other battery that has this uh, feature. And uh, I think this is a really great thing to have. Okay then, um, I, will, uh, I will show you the setup very, um, very fast. I don't want to enter in details. If you want to see more details about the setup, it's uh, very similar with the setup I used on the um, a123 system cells, uh, just the, the video before this one, uh, the part one, uh, and there I uh, go in more details about this setup. Now I'll just show you uh, what I have here. I will start again from the load side, and I will have um, uh, three uh, loads. One will be a 100 watt uh, incandescent light bulb. And then um, I will have a hair dryer on low setting, about 350 watt. And also I, I will have this water distiller since I don't want a lot of heat in my room. This will take most of the, of the power and heat the water so uh, I don't get the, the heat directly in, into the room. And this is about 580 watt. So in total should be around uh, 1000 watt uh, I don't know exactly but we will see when I will start this uh, I have the kilowatt uh, power meter that will show uh, the exact load on this side and then depending on the efficiency of this um, trip light uh, power inverter it's a 2400 watt uh, power inverter and uh, it, it is not a poor sine wave, so it, it's a modified uh, sine, sine wave inverter 
So the efficiency should be much better than uh, on the poor sine wave because the construction is much simpler and um, this is quite a bulky and a heavy one because it has a transformer so uh, you have uh, full insulation between uh, battery and uh, AC and um, this, this I think it's a nice quality I, I found a, a good price on eBay for, for this one it's a used one and uh, the the power switch was uh, damaged but uh, i i got the wires out so i could start it uh, using these wires now then um, next i have the battery okay so next uh, is the shunt resistor it's a 200 amp uh, 75 millivolt uh, voltage drop on this one at 200 amps and the cables that I, I built are about 60 centimeters long, something like that, two feet, and they use um, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 square millimeter uh, wires, or uh, number 18 uh, imperial, and I have 20 of these uh, for each cable which should be more than enough for uh, 100 amps or so. I would not use this battery in my application for more than one C. So um, everything should, uh, should work fine. And then I have the, the WaveTech. The, um, it's a digital multimeter. And one, the, the front channel will uh, measure the voltage. Uh, on the entire battery. This battery is formed out of eight cells. So uh, I have a total of 24, 25 volt uh, nominal. I think it's 25.6 nominal since these cells are 3.2 volt uh, lithium iron. And then um, I have a laptop that will um, be connected to the WaveTech via serial uh, to USB adapter. And I will store uh, all the data uh, on a file and I will build a graph with a discharge curve and uh, I will uh, have that at the end of this video. Now I want to show you what happens when you connect a battery to an inverter, any inverter. You will get some sparks so uh, you should be careful when connecting wires to an inverter even if it's powered off. Uh, it doesn't matter, you will get uh, a lot of sparks, so uh, here I go, you see, but uh, now if I take it out and put it again, there will be no sparks if it's just a few seconds, because uh, the capacitor are already charged, so uh, you don't get any sparks. I will uh, tighten this screw here. best screwdriver to do this but yeah it's what I have here it seems to be secured and everything is fine now I'm going to to power on this and start a test Okay, now we are 
about uh, 15 minutes into this test and I will calculate the current drawn from the battery so I have 15 um, 0, 6, 8 millivolt multiplied with 2.66 I get about 40, 40 amps uh, drawn from the battery so uh, it's not like it's not 50 amps I w as I was expecting it seems the, um, the inverter is much more efficient than I was thinking but so it will be a 0 0.4 see this charge and not 0 0.5 but um, it should be close enough so I think it should be fine and uh, then uh, Okay, multiplied with 25.894 is the, the current voltage on, on battery so the, the total power drawn from the battery is uh, 1042 watt and the power output of the inverter is 950 around there so uh, 950 divided by 10, 42 um, so it has an efficiency of just over 91% which I think is quite good and, uh, I don't see how they could go much better than this especially that they also use a transformer inside and they they have uh, they use modified sine waves so the transformer doesn't like this that much but uh, it's better than I expected like 91% efficiency at probably just a bit under half the maximum load The problem is that uh, it takes about 37 or 38 watt even if you don't plug anything in it so uh, it's not very good to use this one with uh, smaller loads so it's much better to use a, a smaller inverter for that. Okay, um, the alarm just started so the voltage on one of the cells should be under 3 volt. It seems that it fluctuates between 2.99 or 2.97 and uh, 3 point something. So uh, it's around 3 volt. I will, I will take a multimeter to check exactly the voltage. Let's see. Okay. This is cell 1, so 2.98 and let's see, cell 2, 3 volt, so uh, yeah, 3.06, so yeah, it seems uh, we got at the end. And let's see, we should make a zoom on this one, for how long did it run? So 2.09, almost 2.1 kilowatt hour, but this is on the AC side, I will need to, to see the efficiency of this uh, inverter, I think it's about 90%, 91% as I calculated before, and I will check the, the data and I will have more information and so it was running for about 2 hours and 12 minutes I was expecting to run a bit longer but yeah. we, I will see the data and uh, see what, if it's fine or not I don't think you can see this unless I get closer 
so I'm going to to stop this test and I will build the graph, analyze the data and then uh, I will probably do the same thing, a separate video about the graph or I don't know, maybe I will do a separate video about the comparison. Uh, I think this is all for now. I will stop this. Since it took uh, almost uh, 23 hours or something like that and according to this power supply it seems that uh, it used about 91.1 amp hour so um, I will need to check the, the data and build a graph and see if this uh, number is accurate but uh, it, I think it's accurate enough so uh, it, should, it should be something like that I will end this video here and I will make a part 2 with the uh, results and also I will compare this battery with a A123 system uh, so um, it should be uploaded in uh, no more than one day after this video is being uploaded.